Hello oil traders. It is still July 17th. That's a Monday and we're just at 3.25 p.m. Eastern, so another <clears throat> 35 minutes, excuse me, uh, before the uh, East Coast North American markets close. And as you can see, we've been fading all day long. Um, Pre-market, pre-US pre East Coast trading, <clears throat> we uh, managed to get as high as about, uh, what is that here, uh, 4680s, um, but we basically, you know, bouncing up and down um, very in, within a very, very tight window. Um, we've basically just faded all day long. Um, we touched below 46 just for a moment, touching uh, 4598. And as you can see right now, we're sitting at 4605 with about half an hour left in the trading day. Um, will we, you know, I, I honestly thought we would have <clears throat> cracked below 46 today. That doesn't uh, seem like it's going to happen. Um, very rarely have I seen uh, a rapid move take place after 3.30. So I don't expect to see that today. Um, and what that means is if we don't manage to fall below 46 today, um, there is a chance that we're actually going to go back up to 47 tomorrow. Um, and if that's the case, like I said, uh, my, you know, my targets haven't changed. Um, I've positioned myself to play both sides. Um, so I welcome the opportunity to get rid of my longs above 47. I'd be targeting somewhere in the 48 plus range um, if that happens. Um, but ultimately, I think we're heading down. Um, so that's kind of my expectation for uh, this week and and really the balance of the month of July. <clears throat> um, essentially what's happening right now is everybody's positioning ahead of the news to come at 4.30 tomorrow for API and then EIA inventory news for crude on uh, Wednesday morning at 10.30 p.m. 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, so, you know, <laughs> Do what you want to do based on what you believe. Um, I think we're heading down, but that might not materialize right, or, right away, and we might go up first. Um, it's just, yeah, just trader mentality, and uh, you know, no, no matter if I'm right or wrong, either scenario can play out. So it's just a matter of being um, clear on your targets and your play ranges, and don't get sucked in by what you think you see in the charts. Uh, like for me, my targets have not changed since last week. Um, last week's volatility basically was outside the range that I could play. So I only managed to collect that one successful trade. Um, and uh, right now it's just more wait and see. If we drop below 46, I'm targeting um, you know, 45 or below, preferably closer to 44 to exit long, uh, exit my shorts and to add longs. If uh, I'm wrong and we go up first, then I'm looking to exit my longs above 47, closer to 48 plus, and then add to my short positions at or above 47 as well. Uh, like I said, expecting that downward reversal um, later this week or next week. Um, you know, I've made the mistake in the past of, you know, where we're stuck in this sort of tight range and, and you kind of get frustrated with the fact that you aren't able to profit from any particular swing that you might see or anticipate. Um, and it's always proven to be a mistake to over trade or to, you know, as I say with my buddy, um, you know, force a trade. Uh, you know, stick to your plan. Um, it will pay off in the long run. Um, be clear with your targets and don't trade when they're not met. It's as simple as that or as complicated as that, depending on how you look at it. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll end it there as we're uh, again approaching 46. So we'll see if today's one of those days where we get a, a rapid move into the close. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think or how you're playing this. Um, hit me up down below on the comments form on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio, trades, and charts. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning um, ahead of uh, U.S. or North American trading at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern or 9, before 9.30 a.m. Eastern. And until then, good luck and cheers.